All right, hello, this is Jeff Scott of Blackhawk Technical College coming to you with the first of probably pretty many videos for the 152-158 Advanced Website Development class for the fall 2016 semester at Blackhawk Technical College. I'm going to try to get all, this, all these lectures done, or as many as possible done, by Wednesday, May 18th, which is the last time we meet in class for the second semester. All right, and we'll see how I, I, how I do. If you go out to the magic spot, so to speak, for the class, which is right here on the P drive, CIS 152-158 AWD for Advanced Website Development, Fall 2016, all right, this is what you're going to find. As always, a bunch of articles I have found on Bootstrap in related topics. That's where the homework will be. That's where the in-class information will be. Uh, <clears throat> that's some PDFs that I found, and some of these are really, really good, just so you know. I'm not going to go through any of them right now. You can go through them as you get a chance. The source code and I should mention, too, I just got the book over the weekend. <clears throat> and let's see. According to this, if I go out to, I'm going to go out to the website for the course. This is the author's website, not my website. All right. So if I go out to, HTTP colon slash slash HTML5 in 24 hours dot com slash bootstrap book. Let me grab that as I did earlier. So I'll have to cut down the size here. <clears throat> All right. So as you can see, that is the website for the author for the book. HTTP colon slash slash HTML5 in 24 hours dot com slash bootstrap book. If I go to that site, which is what I'm going to do now, I'm there. According to the author, amongst other things that are there, and you can see it, table of contents, code listings. Now, I don't know if you can download all of the code listings at once or not. I'm hoping you can. So it looks like you can't. And... So if I go here, what is a framework and why should you like it? I don't even know what this is going to get me. All right, so you can see what I'm getting. All right, when I come up here. Listing 1-1, one, one, et cetera. What I will try to do is by the time class starts, have all this stuff loaded and put into the source code folder. All right. What I'd like to do for the rest of this lecture is to go through the syllabus for the class. Okay. It's a typical Jeff Scott syllabus. Title, semester, which I can already see here is wrong. It's not spring 2016. So I'll have to fix that right away, because otherwise I'll forget to fix it. So let's go up here where we have all the good information. And let's grab that. And where it says spring 2016, let's change it to fall. Get out of there. Save. 
file, save as, and let's save it as a PDF. I'll get the little beep telling me there's already one by that name. I'll overwrite it. All right, and there it is. All right, fall 2016. So I'm going to keep my standard office hours Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., work phone number, email address, as always, much easier to get a hold of me using my email address. The syllabus date, I just put this down as a random date. The advanced website development, which is the name of the class. And the reason I'm doing this now is this is the only class, if you are a full-time student in the program, you take five classes in the third semester. You take 152, 158, this class, Advanced Website Development. You take 152, 145, Advanced Java Programming. You take 152, 148, Relational Database Coding. You take 152, 149, Secure Coding. And you take 152, 161, Website Development using ASP.NET. Now, each class meets four hours a week. If you do the math, we can only have four on Tuesdays and four on Thursdays. This is the odd person out. So this is the class that's on a different day. That's why I'm doing these lectures early. As always, in room 1509, you can see this. I don't want to read to you. All right. This is going to be a bootstrap class. Ideally, we're covering the entire book. Our author's name is Jennifer Kernan, and we're going to cover the entire book. The idea is to give you somewhere between a beginning and an intermediate understanding of Bootstrap. All right. If I go out here, you'll see what the book looks like. Okay. And it looks like if you buy it out here, it's $37.79. If I go out to Amazon, At Amazon, it's going to be $26.28. All right. I probably should have bought it out there. And you'll notice you can even buy it for as cheap as $18.71. This is what it looks like right there. It's a fairly new book. It's a 2015 book. And if I bring it up here, again, in an ideal world at least, we're going through all 24 chapters. It, the book is broken down into four sections. The first section in the first four chapters, getting started with Bootstrap. The next, what, nine chapters it looks like. Part two, building and managing web pages with Bootstrap. The next seven chapters, part three, Bootstrap JavaScript plugins. And the book ends with part four, customizing Bootstrap and your Bootstrap website. I'm going to look for a PDF version of the book. As of yet, I have not found one. All right, I know you can go out online and grab the first two chapters in a PDF format, but with what I use for the class, I don't think, I asked the publishing rep to go and look and see if he could find something for me for this, but we'll see if he did or not. So Jennifer Kernan. Ah, well, we'll see. Add to library. Let's so let's check. I know one mobile application. No, that wasn't the right one. <clears throat> Responsive. There it is. Add to library. Read now. So it looks like I will have it, and it looks like I will have it in much the same format that I had it in for the. Angular JS JavaScript jQuery book. Okay, so I've got this in. This is my ebook form. Ebook format. I'm sorry, I cannot share it with you. This is from the author. 
So there's part one, as I mentioned. There's part two, part three, and part four. All right, then they go over the contents in more depth and breadth of coverage. I don't plan on doing that. A little bit about the author. The acknowledgments for the people from Prentiss Hall. If you find mistakes. All right. And here is the introduction. So I will come back to that in just one moment. But before I do, let's finish up, please, with this. So that's the book. If I click the link, I get to the same place I'm at. All right, no extra supplies. This, I'm gonna, and I'm going to be changing stuff right in front of your very eyes as we see certain things. All right, assignments, no, there won't be eight, but I'm just putting that down anyway. 80% for assignments and 20% for attendance. We've had attendance problems in the past. If you don't come, let's say you never come to class, even if you do the homework, if you never come to class, that's a 20% ding right there. So the best you can get is an 80%. And if you are missing that much class, then what you're going to get at an 80% will be a C+. Here are the Blackhawk Technical College core abilities. This class, as in most of the classes for the IT web software developer program, we're most concerned with use appropriate technology and solve problems efficiently. Our competencies, notice I kept it short and sweet, demonstrate the ability to create bootstrap, and it really shouldn't say and websites, it should say bootstrap websites. which utilize the material shown in the text and at getbootstrap.com, which is going to be the subject of the next video, and demonstrate the ability to utilize Bootstrap in conjunction with a server-side program, such as PHP or ASP.net. We'll look at that toward the end of the class. All of the material is right where I showed you before. Under the P drive, CIS 152-158, AW Default 2016, and under Blackboard, so if I go to Blackboard right now, well, I, I just want to show you this. This is what I put out there already under Blackboard. So right now it still has my spring stuff. But there's my fall stuff right there. If I go to my fall stuff and I go here to Advanced Website Development, there's the, the welcome message for you. And you can see what I put in here. The syllabus is here, which we're, we've been looking at now in both Word and PDF format. The course evaluation is there. The videos, so the first one will be going right here. There's nothing in there right now. The book source, as soon as I download all of it, unfortunately, again, I have to download it piecemealish. It'll go in there. The PowerPoints, as far as I can tell, there aren't any for this book, but I will keep checking. The in-class work will go right here. The homework work will go right here. Any announcements here. And I put a discussion board, which should actually be moved down below resources, not above them. Well, but there is a discussion board out there. Okay? So all that material is out there. If you have any kind of special need that I should know about, this is the information for that. As I don't give tests, typically that's not too much of an impediment to people. <clears throat> As always, I prefer that communications between you and me take place via email. I'll attempt to turn around emails in a 24-hour period, of course. If it's a weekend, that might be a little bit more difficult. All homework should either be emailed to me on, on, at my Blackhawk account in a zip folder or if you want to, as always, or put it on your H drive. I've already mentioned this about attendance, that attendance is very important. If you stop attending class on a regular basis, I'm supposed to let student services know they will attempt to begin the withdrawal process for you. And if you're on financial aid, there's a good chance you're going to lose your aid. That's not me being a hard ass. That's just the way that we're supposed to do things around here. That's it for the first lecture. 
that we're going to be doing. All right. And uh, let me just make sure, because now I've got that. Close this. I want this to ideally at least be the more as up to date as possible. So as I see mistakes, such as putting spring in there instead of fall, changing the percentage, etc., I'm going to try to change those things as soon as possible. In fact, what I'll do here, where it says should be emailed to me in a zip folder, or put on student's h drive and will be returned with comments and grade in the same manner okay <clears throat> so let me just grab that lastly <clears throat> now that i've made hopefully all my changes in there save as save that again as a pdf and i'll have to remember to put the updated pdf and the updated word on the uh, out on Blackboard. I'll keep that up here, but for the next lecture, we're going to go out to the site that, for lack of better words, is all Bootstrap. So we're going to go out to getbootstrap.com. All right, that's the Bootstrap site, and we'll go out there and talk about that momentarily.